If I had to pick one, I guess I would probably go with... Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. I just noticed I hadn't done a nootropic review in a while, and for some reason, I don't know, I've been trying little bits of nootropics, but I haven't really wanted to experiment, like trying one specific one for a week. So I just kind of want to do an updated review on these three nootropics because I find they have a very similar effect to me personally. A lot of similarities, a lot of pros and cons are similar, so let's just jump right into them. So when I was getting into the racetams, uh, what I expected was something just with a little bit of a brain boost um, something not really to make you feel good just to make your brain perform better so when I first researched racetams and the effect that I was expecting them to give me these three products are very very similar and pretty much give me this slight brain boosting effect very little cons and it's just something I can throw in with any stack and get a little bit of cognition but not really something I would take to overly wake me up or to feel euphoric or great just something to help your brain work better. Let's just jump into Pramoracetam. Pramoracetam was my second favorite racetam besides phenylpracetam hydrazide. I find that phenylpracetam hydrazide not only gave me a cognition boost but also gave me a little bit of euphoria and a really noticeable just increase in motivation, right? So Pramoracetam was my second favorite and it still is right around the same. I probably would edge call racetam as my second favorite racetam right now. But Pramoracetam is great. I'm pretty sure it's the only racetam that's supposed to increase uh, nitric oxide levels in the blood. So maybe a little bit more of a pump or just more blood flowing in your body. The effect I get off it is improved cognition, maybe a little bit more energy. Again, not a stimulant, but just a little bit more energy. I, for some reason, I notice a lot of, I feel it in my gums when I take Pramoracetam. Like I'll take it in a capsule and I'll feel this kind of like agitation around my gums. I have no idea why because the Pramoracetam never directly touched my gums. I don't know. They're all very similar. But the reason that I would edge Coloracetam to Pramoracetam is that you have to take a much higher dose. And there's times where I take the typical dose of Pramoracetam on an empty stomach and I could just feel it being so acidic because Pramoracetam, like all the other racetams, is really bitter, does not taste good. You have to take a lot of it. I think about 300 milligrams is like the average dose. I'm not too sure. So just because you have to take more for the effect and you can't really take it on an empty stomach, that's kind of the reason that I would edge Coloracetam over it because Coloracetam, I think the main dose is about 10 to 30 milligrams. Usually I use about 20 to 25. So Coloracetam is probably the smoothest out of all these. Like I would say if, uh, Coloracetam I think has a slight anti-anxiety type effect. So if I was gonna take one to give me some mood boost, but also be very, very smooth, I would probably take the Coloracetam. Now, again, Coloracetam is very, very subtle, but again, these are all very subtle. They're not really supposed to give you a big energy boost. They're not really supposed to make you really euphoric. They're just supposed to help your brain, maybe a tad little bit of energy, but mostly just improve brain function. Uh, improve the ability to recall words, improve just overall memory recall and things like that. So I kind of would say that I prefer Coloracetam over Nupept if I had to go back and forth. But to be honest, I really like Nupept too. I find that Nupept and Coloracetam are probably the most similar, at least for me. It does seem that Nupept has a little bit more energy to it. Maybe I, I'm mistaken, but I do feel like I get a slight bit more energy boost from Nupept. And I know that Nupept is supposed to have a lot of, of good effects on the brain as it is. I think Nupept's main action uh, works for about four to five hours. For me, I don't really notice it being there or not there. I just notice when I take it. Generally, things are a little bit more smooth. My mood is just a little bit more balanced and there's just a little bit more memory recall and things like that. I'm pretty sure with the Coloracetam on one dose, like memory recall and uh, verbal fluency was increased, I think for three days off one dose, which is very you know, impressive. If I had to pick one, I guess I would probably go with Coloracetam, but 
I really like all three of these guys. I use them kind of interchangeably and I kind of use them in um, other supplement stacks. You know, if I'm looking for just kind of more balance, I'll use them on my own, but most of the time I'll use them in combination with maybe with some Alpha Yohimbi, maybe a little bit of Teocrine, something to give you a little bit of energy alongside the cognition. So anyways, guys, I really like all three of these. I probably would edge Coloracetam, then Nupept, then Pramiracetam, but the only reason I would do that is because I find that Coloracetam lasts a little bit longer. I find that it's a little bit more smooth than Nupept. And the only reason I put Pramiracetam last is only because you have to take more of it and it is a little bit acidic on an empty stomach. But I definitely feel the nitric oxide boost from Pramiracetam. It definitely has like a, it's weird. There's more energy, but it's not like a caffeine. It's not like a DMAA or a modafinil. It's just an extra level of boost. So that could be the nitric oxide production. So anyways, guys, I like all three of these. If you had to choose me deep diving into one of these compounds again what do you want to know more of maybe i'll do a review on just one so anyways guys been my review of nupept pramorastam and colrastam i like them all pretty much no side effects no weird feelings just and a straight cognition boost, exactly what we want. So we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do without any of you guys. Hope you guys are the best. Having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.